Hi friends! Welcome back to the Project Return Online Classroom. I'm Miss Celia and today I wanted to continue our videos on mental health resources and provide you with a few resources that you can reach out to and connect with if you are ever in a time of need or you need help finding a treatment provider that can help you with whatever it is that you're dealing with at the time. The first one that I wanted to talk about is SAMHSA. SAMHSA is the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, and they are a nationally run organization, so there are locations all around the country. They provide the Suicide Prevention Hotline. The phone number for the Suicide Hotline is 1-800-622-4357. Something to keep in mind is that this hotline does not provide counseling or psychiatric services. What their duty is, is to assist during crisis, help you talk somebody down from a crisis, and then they can go ahead and pair you with the treatment provider in your area that can help you with treatment services going forward. They also have a lot of really great and interesting articles about mental health news and new research, so you can always stay in the know about what's going on in the mental health world. Uh, it's a really interesting resources to give to a loved one who needs some more information about whatever mental health condition is facing their life. The next resource I want to talk about is the National Institute of Mental Health, and the National Institute of Mental Health is a federally funded agency that's dedicated to mental health research. They provide information on all types of mental health disorders and treatments, and they can also tell you more information about a lot of very niche topics. For example, they can talk to you about specific disorders and diagnosis or treatment options. Basically, if you need to know something about a topic in mental health, the National Institute of Mental Health likely has an article for you to read that can help clarify some of the questions that you might have. They also have their own crisis hotline. Their crisis hotline phone number is 800-273-8255. And this crisis line is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. So no matter what time, what day, whenever that you may need to contact a crisis hotline, they will be available for you and they can provide crisis counseling and also give you referrals to mental health providers that are located in your community. They also have a crisis text line. If you text hello to 741-741, they can do some of these very similar services than if you contact their crisis line by phone. Another resource that I think we need to be aware of is NAMI, and NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and they have branches in every county within every state. The contact information for Hillsborough County is, the phone number is 813-273-8104, or you can visit their website at namihillsborough.org, that's N-A-M-I hillsborough.org. And what NAMI does is they provide information on mental illness, conditions and treatment options, and also suicide awareness and prevention. They run support groups throughout the county and they provide health education and mental health education to the community. So this can be information for your support system. They have uh, support groups for depression, PTSD, anxiety, and for families who have lost a loved one. They have a lot of different types of support groups. So those groups are a really great way for you to get your feelings out and also connect with those around you who are experiencing similar things. NAMI also has their own helpline, and the NAMI helpline can pair you with local mental health resources, support groups, and treatment centers in the community, so this is a referral helpline. The phone number for that is 800-950-6264. And then the final resource that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm sure y'all have heard about this already, but that is the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. And the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay provides a lot of services here to the greater Bay Area that are crucial and it's a staple in the mental health services. You can call 211 and when you call this number you'll be paired with a gateway service provider and they will provide crisis intervention for you and give you referrals and they can help connect you with any of their 3,000 community resources within their network. And the 211 crisis line, probably the easiest phone number to remember, is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So again, no matter what the day is, what time, early, early in the morning, late at night, you can always contact the 211 crisis line and they can help you. 
The Crisis Center of Tampa Bay also provides a lot of other services. For example, they have the Corbett Trauma Center, and the Trauma Center provides specialized counseling services for children, adults, and families who have experienced trauma. And this trauma can include a wide range of stuff, including domestic violence, assault or substance abuse, um, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, and other emotional traumas like losing a loved one. They also have sexual assault services for survivors of sexual assault, suicide prevention services and education, and a very interesting program that I didn't know existed until I did some research, and this is called their Traveler's Aid Program. And their Traveler's Aid Program assists in crisis when children, families, or any individual become stranded and disconnected from their support systems and their resources, and they're stranded at the Tampa International Airport. So if you ever know somebody who misses a flight or can't find their way home and they're at the airport, you can always tell them, direct them to call the 211 crisis line and their traveler's aid program can assist them with getting them back to where they need to be. If there are any other resources in the Tampa Bay area that you can think of, I encourage us all to share. Uh, the more resources that we build in our personal networks, the better. So uh, the Project Return Center is also a great resource for you guys. We don't provide counseling services. However, we are considered a drop-in center. And this means that we have the resources to, if you need help with any specific mental health condition or you're looking for treatment, Project Return can help you find somebody to assist you in treatment. Um, like I said, we're a drop-in center. We don't provide counseling services, but we are always available if you guys ever need to talk about something going on with a family member, a caregiver, or a personal struggle that you feel is greatly affecting your life. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video on the Project Return Online Classroom. I hope I gave you guys some great resources to, for education purposes and for referral purposes. I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye guys.